In this video, we'll discuss the U.S. Geological Survey topographic map colors and symbology that are used. We'll first go through colors, and then we'll take a look at how we figure out what all the different little symbols mean. There are a few basic colors that are used in these maps. Um, black are going to be the man-made features. Um, and so roads and buildings and a lot of other things that we do to manipulate the landscape are going to be in black. Red is going to be primarily used for major roads. Now, some boundary lines are going to have be red. Uh, township and range divisions are going to be in red, but um, mainly the features that are going to be in red are going to be our main roads, so highways and other primary roads. Brown is there. You'll see a lot of brown. Those are going to be mainly the contour lines. Uh, there will be some other earthen features like sand or um, trailings or other things like that. Um, that will be in brown. Green, of course, is going to be vegetation. We'll see that just in general vegetation, like forested areas where the whole area is green, but then there's different um, patterns that the green will be presented in that are also going to be showing specific types of vegetation. Blue, of course, will be our water features. Uh, those will be line features. Uh, for example, rivers, uh, I'm sorry, streams, um, but also areas for wider rivers and for lakes and ocean and other things like that. Purple will show up sometimes on some maps. And what they do is these maps were originally made a long time ago and they needed to update those maps. So what they did is they created different features um, to update those um, through a photo revision, right? So they flew an airplane over, took a picture, those changes that took place because of that photo revision um, are going to be in purple. The reason that they do them a different color is because they haven't been ground truth, right? They haven't gone out onto the ground to make sure that everything is there, so they wanted to distinguish that. It does make it kind of interesting for us on some maps where we can see the different um, changes that have taken place from um, before the photo revision to after the photo revision. There will also be a number of areas that will be kind of in the salmon color. And I think that this color is probably a good representation of what that looks like, um, where it's going to be our urbanized areas. So we'll see some areas that are going to be um, individual little buildings. But when there's a whole region that gets um, urbanized, then they'll often just do it in this color. On some of the other series of maps on um, the smaller scales or maps where they're zoomed out a little bit further, sometimes you'll see cities that will just be in yellow. So those are going to be our primary colors that we're using with these. Now, with those colors, they're going to be making all sorts of symbols. And you can search for this guy online, the USGS Topographic Map Symbols. But in essence, it goes through and it um, tells you all of the different symbols that they're going to be using. We're going to be exploring this guy in just a moment. Some maps that you will find, some of the U.S. geological maps that you find, do have nice little legends down in the bottom corner. We'll take a better look at this in a bit, but here it's going to be showing us all the different types of roads that are there, um, the jurisdiction that they fall into, as well as the types of roads. This little legend thing we do not see very often on topographic maps, and so Having access to this, whether it's going to be in um, digital form or whether you print it out, um, these guys are very helpful. So it goes through, talks a little bit about those topographic maps, but then every possible feature that you could dream of is going to be listed out here. Now, it's really funny because sometimes they're just going to say mud, reef, and other text. Um, but other times, um, it's not. It's just going to be those special symbols. I love this one, the exposed wreck that is there. Looks like a little boat that's half sunk. And a lot of times, that's kind of what they do. They take what would be there, and they really simplify the graphic. The contour lines are going to be there. Um, the darker lines are going to be those index contours, and then there are the intermediate ones. We'll talk more about contours and contour interval and everything like that in a different video. Um, churches and schools are um, pretty good icons to see. Um, so a school will be a box with a tiny little flag flying at the top of it. A house of worship will be a box with a little cross at the top of it. Not to confuse the school with the ranger district office, which looks like a big fancy school um, with a forest headquarters. Um, and then this guy right here almost looks like a cross on the ground. It's an airport, whereas cemeteries will be a little box with a little 
square in the middle or something that says cemetery or other things like that. Right? So there are all sorts of symbols. When we start looking at the topographic maps, we're also going to see a lot of different ways that they symbolize elevation. Right? So sometimes there's going to be a little BM with a number next to it. Sometimes it's going to be a little triangle with a number next to it. Sometimes it'll be BM with a triangle with a number next to it. Um, but there's going to be all sorts of different ways that they go through and provide us the elevation. Um, the symbology continues and continues and continues. Railroads... Uh, regular roads. Uh, one thing that I would like to point out is a stream. It's going to be a single line. Um, an intermittent stream. That's going to be seasonal, right? So it's flowing sometimes of the year, but not others. It's flowing, and then it stops, stops, stops. And then it's flowing, and then it stops, stops, stops. Okay? Our rivers are going to be a little bit wider. Right? And that's where they actually can see both shores for those. Right? And so there's going to be um, symbology for dams. Notice how a dam is a man-made feature. It's in black, but it's right next to the water feature. These are some of those other brown features that you might see on a topographic map that I wanted to point out to you. Ponds and lakes, um, swamps are going to have grass and water together. And so you've got blue and green kind of mixed together. Um, here are all of our different road symbols that we're looking at. Uh, mangrove, it might just say mangrove, but a mangrove is going to be um, something like a swamp, but it's going to be a forested swamp, not really here on the West Coast, mainly like in Florida, for example. All right, so those are going to be uh, not only the colors that we're looking at, uh, but also a lot of the symbols that we will find. Highly recommend that you obtain a copy of this guy just to have digitally as you start working through those. So it is available through the learning management system, but it's also uh, just Google search, USGS, topographic map symbols, PDF, and you should be able to find this.